Hi, my name is Paul Turner. I'm an osteopath in Melbourne, Australia, and I thought I'd do a little introductory video to describe to you what I will do if you come in for an assessment and a treatment and sort of look at my approach. So when you're coming in for assessment and treatment, there's two things you want to identify in clients when they're coming in with pain. The first one is it's more of a biomedical emphasis or focus. It's the tissues or conditions causing symptoms. So you'll always assess a person to work out what's causing their symptoms, whether it be pain or something else. And the relationship you're investigating in that is the relationship between the tissues or the condition and the effects or symptoms that a person is feeling. So that helps you to understand what's causing your immediate problem. But the other relationship you want to look for is the underlying patterns or of dysfunction, which I've called relationship imbalances, um, that are predisposing or setting up the tissues causing symptoms. In other words, they're setting the stage for the manifestation of that condition or those symptoms, tissues. Um, that causes the symptoms or slows or prevents the self-healing mechanisms from doing their work effectively. So in other words, if you deal with the underlying patterns predisposing a person to their problem, what you're doing, it's not focusing on symptoms, it's focusing on what is happening in that person that's interfering with their healing. Because the body will heal naturally, provided it has the right environment. So the focus is not on symptoms, it's on helping a person come back to balance. If things are balanced and optimally flowing and functioning, then nature will do the work of healing to the best possible ability that they can do. So as we, when we look at that, basically what we're doing is we're looking at what else is happening inside the body and how that is affecting the tissue's recovery, okay? And that's what you see more in this sort of a holistic focus or model of assessment. So they're looking, to get an overall picture, you're looking at both of those relationships. So when you come in for a treatment, you'll, for example, we'll look at this little diagram here. There's two elements to what's going on behind the scenes. This one's describing what's happening in your physical body. So for example, you might come in complaining of shoulder or neck pain. So we'll have to look at that area, obviously. But we have a, what I first do is I'll look at your overall posture and check, do a postural assessment and run you through some movements. And I might find that on postural assessment, I find a lot of problems in the pelvis or low back, which is setting up the stage for that shoulder or neck to get into trouble. So that's looking at the whole pattern in the, in the body. And that's related to what else is going on. And that's manifested as what's called a primary ART. A is asymmetry. R is range and quality of motion abnormality and tissue texture change. That tells you what's actually worth treating in the body, that it's a real problem, not a compensation. So this effect could be a compensation and might be asymmetrical and painful and tender and have altered texture, but it might actually be functioning relatively okay, but can't heal unless this is dealt with first. So I'll do a postural assessment and look at that. And then what I'll do is I'll lie you down, we'll go over to this picture. You've got to remember that what's happening behind the scenes can be effect on any particular level. So it could be, what I've drawn here is like, this represents health, and this is the alignment with health, and this is the physical body picture that I had on the other side. So this picture is depicting what I call the bucket of the personality, okay? And the personality is what stores all of our stresses and worries and anxieties and fears and concerns but also all our past traumas and stresses that are setting the stage for what we're feeling in the present moment. So you've got the mind, the emotional, the etheric, which is another word for like the energetic elements of the body and the physical body itself. So we've got our little person here and we've traced cause to effect mechanically. What I will do is I'll lay it down and I'll do like a cranial energetic and multi-dimensional assessment screening process. And I'll sort of work out what, where the actual levels in trouble are that is causing or behind the scenes behind that physical problem. So I sort of like I map it out multi-dimensionally and work out the coordinates of this function and how that affects the physical body. So if there is a uh, problem going on on other levels then you can map that out and you can also map out when it's occurred in, in the history of where in time for example. And so that sets the stage and it, and it uh, affects the body in the pelvis, which then sets up the issue in the shoulder and neck and creates effects. So that's sort of explaining that diagram. In the healing process, what you're actually doing is you recognise where the coordinates of the problem are, both in, in space, in location and time, and you help a person to come back into alignment with their inner health. So this would be where the problem is, this would be the, where the health is, and you're trying to get them to talk. So I liken it to 
being like a counsellor to the tissues. Um, and what we'll do when we do that is you, you, it's sort of like you find the worst area and the best area and you get them to talk, like two people having a relationship to imbalance. What often happens when you get the problem communicating with the health is it's sort of like if one person's healthy and one person's got an issue, the one that's healthy stays healthy regardless of what's thrown at it. It stays stable and healthy and chilled out and relaxed and the problem will often have lots of worries and fears and doubts. So it might start arguing with the health, it might start attacking it, it might start ignoring it. So what you'll often feel in the healing process is when you get them to talk to one another, is you'll feel the problem react, okay? And after a while, if you don't buy into that reaction, it'll start to settle down and it'll start to come back to a point where it's like it's tired of reacting and it starts to listen and that's called a neutral point. And so in the healing process, if you can get it'll feel in the body like the problem areas and the healthy areas are connecting and then what happens is it stops arguing and it starts responding so it's a little bit like building in a healthier habit and you feel the tissues starting to work out how to build in a healthier habit then they respond in a healthier way build in a healthier habit and when they've had enough they let go and, and get a nice ebb and flow so when the body is nice and healthy on all levels you'll get this sense of the whole body breathing like um, ocean tide you feel the tissues expand and then they'll lengthen. They'll, they'll go from the center to the periphery and the periphery back to center. So when a person walks out from a treatment, you want them into a state where the whole system, the whole mechanism is as balanced as they can be. And that means they'll go away and things will start to heal and start to change and the body will then bring up another layer. So just keep in mind one thing though, if you've got a chronic health issue, if you go back to this diagram here, if you've got a simple issue, like a simple uh, back strain, for example, and there's no predisposing or complicating factors, in other words, a person's very healthy, then that becomes quite a simple problem. So you can probably just deal with the tissues and affecting the symptoms, and you'll get a, quite a quick response from treatment. It might only take one treatment, for example, or a couple of treatments at most. But in a chronic issue, an underlying chronic problem, you could have, um, let's say, a particular person comes in with a chronic health issue, they could have numerous intertwined, complicated relationship issues on many other levels, all simultaneously causing pressure on the tissues, causing symptoms. So every individual, when they come in, they'll have different things going on in their individual life history and their body, which will be contributing to their tissues. And that's why you can't treat anybody the same way, because although the symptoms might be similar, the underlying patterns are different. So you sort of have to treat everybody as an individual. So when someone comes in for a treatment, and this is particularly helpful with people with chronic health issues because they often have issues on lots of other levels, if you can get all that back into balance and you can also teach people, I teach people how to do this for themselves because if you feed the health in the body, you build health into the body. And as you build more health in the body, it flushes the muck up and things come up and then they clear. So you've just got to be aware that if you can work through what clears, you'll come out healthier. So I hope that gives you a bit of an understanding of what will happen in the treatment. And I use lots of cranial and other type mechanical type treatment techniques to help bring you back into balance. So thank you very much.